Now may I request our chief guest, chief guest Justice Call, to guide us as he has been doing from the beginning. Sir, please. My younger brothers, Vipin Sanghi, Manmohan, Rajiv, all the other brother judges here, and my family of mediators. Uh, the world is a difficult place today. दुनिया में बहुत सारी कठिनाइयाँ हैं इसलिए उसका समाधान चाहिए a solution is required so whether you talk about the world conflicts which is happening in Ukraine whether you talk about other issues people are talking about a dialogue let's have a dialogue mediation in a sense is only something about a dialogue because it is from these dialogues that a solution can emerge you will notice over a period of time many problems arise because people don't talk. If people were to talk, solutions would emerge. And this is a process which encourages that aspect of discussion and talk. It's been a long journey from 2006, from a bar which was completely opposing mediation to the then Chief Justice Karju appealing to the bar to Mr. Chandiyok as the leader of the bar, accepting the same and acknowledging it. And the participation of judges in mediation process, which I think uh, was unique in the beginning in Delhi. We became partners, the bar and the bench, and walked hand in hand. It's a matter of great satisfaction for me when I see uh, Sadhana Ramachandran, Nirana, just to remind her how Justice Sikri used to address her as a classmate to JP, to Sudhanshu, to all these people with, from whom I have also learned. We trained together. I have never felt a hesitation in being a student of mediation. I thought it helped me tremendously as a judge. Forget whatever, uh, as, a, as a person you will do so. It also helps us as human beings. We are all mediators in some way or the other. We mediate between our children. We mediate between our wife and our children, the wife mediates between the husband and the children, and we mediate amongst each other also. Both processes are on. It's only a question of how well you can do it. And you have to acquire skills to do this mediation. Often it is said that uh, what is so special about training of mediators, we all do it every day. Uh, we've, uh, in India, mediation has been present. Mediation has been present in the form of uh, Krishna Bhagavan trying to mediate, unsuccessful mediation of an example, or the panchayats carry out mediation. But I believe there is a difference. When a panchayat does mediation, I believe it carries a stamp of authority. It is not a voluntary process alone. Because the panch will say, this is what you should do, and you tend to follow it. That's not the modern mediation as is understood as you will go through training. Because your job is not, is, uh, is really not to impose a view. Your job is to bring consensus of the view which is required. And that's the skill which will be taught of communication skills, one of the most important. And let me tell you, I have seen so many litigating lawyers who just didn't work out as mediators. And I have seen many lawyers who are wonderful mediators uh, may not have risen to that level as a litigating lawyers. And there are people who have done both. So it's an intrinsic human skill which needs to be evolved and developed. The possible solutions are many because you can walk hand in hand after a solution. In a litigation, somebody will only decide who is right, who is wrong, how much you get, how much the other person will get. Mediation is a solution which can give you what you want. Therefore, you start the initial mediation training program and you are doing advance from that very basic example of an orange and I hold it still. You, the judge will divide an orange, the mediator will find what the parties are going to do with the orange and you say, okay, if somebody has to utilize the juice while another person has to use the rind for the jam, you can give that person what he wants. The requirements may be very different of parties. And to say that only in family matters this mediation works, I don't think is right. More and more uh, commercial mediation is going to take place. 
two years have been a difficult time. A lot of litigation is stuck. A lot of parties' fate is involved. They will need solutions quickly. They may not be able to wait for the time periods the court will ask them to wait. This is a computer age. People will not like to stay 10 years for resolution of the dispute. So what they can get today in business can be rotated many more times than uh, something which they may get 10 years later. That's the reason India signed the uh, mediation convention in Singapore and it is your trainers who sat through a process of what is being debated There is a bill. The MCPC of the Supreme Court uh, then headed by Justice Nariman and I was part of it. We got the best of trained mediators to form a committee. They interacted with mediators all over the world and they came up with a draft proposal for the government. It was, uh, uh, it's not our job to legislate, but the idea was to give a good proposal for the government as a base. There have been some changes I know, debate is taking place, has gone to the parliament. But that's the work these trainers who are with you have done in the progress of mediation. There can be n number of solutions, n number of examples. Uh, among the many I give, let me take some of them because there is no point in lecturing to you on what mediation is about because you will be going through the process. But uh, Sadhana mediated uh, a settlement right till middle of the night to find solutions and mediators have worked like that. There were a husband and wife who had gone f for a divorce. Divorce was granted, custody of the child was being debated. In that mediation process, she deciphered that maybe the parties have divorced but are not so far apart. That influence of other people in their families has caused greater problem than a difference of perceptions between the husband and wife. She persuaded them to uh, live in the uh, same house in different areas for the benefit of the child. Ultimately, the custody problem alone was not solved. What was solved was that both of them got remarried. Can you think of this ever happening in a litigation? This is only a solution which can appear in a mediation process. Uh, IPR was mentioned as a subject. Justice Sikri faced a, a mediation where um, one of the well-known brand of jeans, uh, the allegation was that the person was making a product in which there was the same brand. Uh, they said deception because uh, uh, it's a very good quality jeans. So even though the pricing may be different, uh, the chances of deception are high. Something came to his mind, he said, why don't you talk? So the jean manufacturers were looking for something which, is, uh, which was a good quality of jeans. And a manufacturer was able to produce that. That case settled not in terms of undertakings, etc., but the f person who was violating the trademarks became a supplier for the other. This is not a solution, again, possible in court. And you are mostly lawyers. I have strongly believed that the empowerment of lawyers as mediators is most important. We as judges must accept we, we are some sort of a cloak of authority. Some of us at times are able to put that cloak off. Uh, Justice Jain has been doing it, some of the others have done it, but it's not an easy task. So therefore, we do tend to command, a lawyer will not command. So when uh, Justice Manmohan tells his colleague that he must spare me for a get together here, it has an element of command, not mediation. <laughs> That's how that lawyer reported that it's better that you <laughs> go there. <laughs> That's why the very great significance of, of uh, lawyers doing this job of a mediator. And, and this mediation is processed at every stage it is possible. At a Supreme Court stage, I have seen mediations uh, successfully. Maybe sometimes the, the litigation fatigue sets in only then. And that's the time when they are more uh, amenable to solutions. Sometimes litigation fatigue has not set in at first stage, it sets in at second stage. So each stage has a possibility of, of settlement. I remember once a, almost a 30 years old case came before us where the two, two sides of the family emanating from two wives of the gentleman were battling it out. He was in a small principality in Maharashtra where uh, he was the ex-king there. Ultimately, there were two legal heirs left battling it out. Property was one, 
value of the property had gone greatly high. And this is how uh, uh, the judges will know that a lot of real estate problems get solved because of passage of time the real estate goes up. So question is, do you want a, a smaller pie of a larger cake today? And that's how solutions at time emerge. So I asked them whether they had um, ever talked. They said uh, they hadn't. So all I requested them was, can you go in the evening, have a cup of coffee and we'll take up the matter tomorrow. They co came back, at least some ice was broken. And then the lawyers and the mediators stepped in. And we were able to resolve the problem. I don't know where it would have gone uh, otherwise, what kind of a decision would have come, who would have gained. And I could say um, a thank you to them, telling them now have something better in the evening than a cup of coffee, since both of you have settled the dispute. So there are manifold situations where uh, such solutions emerge. Only question is to be able to put our hand on it. When the mediation started uh, in the Delhi High Court, we as uh, supervising committee at times used to go for mediation because the, the lawyer mediators thought it will encourage if we come. So we divided once a week we used to go. The negative aspect was often we realized we were stranded doing the mediation where the difficult mediation used to be kept for us to handle it. But it was a great experiment. Um, so one of the examples there was one of the me mediators came, he said, these people are so close to a settlement, yet they are not agreeing, two brothers fighting. And the difference was some um, a couple of lakhs or something, the properties was reasonable, not huge. So he said, so I tried to talk to both of them as to what the problem was. The elder brother said, look, he is my younger brother, I brought him up, I have got him married off. Now he stands in front of me and demands an equal share from me. When I talked to the younger brother, I said, is this true? He said, that is true, but uh, as time goes by, every person is dependent on his partner. If the partners don't get along, which often is a scenario, then there are problems which emerge. So I said, are you willing to give him something more? I asked the elder brother. He says, even if he gives me one rupee more, I'll accept it. But I want that one rupee more. I don't want to divide it half and half. That was the only. So the issue was not getting money. The issue was the elder brother looking to an acknowledgement what the younger brother had done. And the younger brother said, why one will give a lakh of rupees more. He went and actually touched his brother's feet and uh, with a little bit of uh, water flowing from the eyes, both of them settled it. Now, if somebody would say, oh, two brothers are fighting, they are headstrong against each other, they are trying to divide the property, you would not come to a solution. But to find a solution, that's why the caucus sessions are held, because the mediator at times endeavours to find out, and that is where he must put his hand on the pulse of the dispute. Only when you get to the pulse of the dispute, will you be able to find a solution, not otherwise. Many of the business, larger business disputes have found solutions. People say it's not possible. I've seen uh, Sriram Panchu who used to come here, Niranjan Bhatt, both complete doings in the field and the training was phenomenal. I remember being trained under them. I have no doubt in acknowledging it. Niranjan Bhatt could give examples out of daily life of his experiences in such a beautiful manner that we would understand how this litigation arose. Um, Sriram Panchu mediated a very difficult dispute which I sent to him in Chania between father and a family of, of uh, uh, three brothers, two brothers on one side, the father on another, no loss, no shortage of properties which were there. And the, the son who was disputed would constantly be in battle. He would write to the government, he would write to the authorities, he would not let get permission, get through, all kind of things would occur. So I ultimately called the father into a court proceeding like a chamber proceeding and said, look, you have made everything, you have done everything, but you have to be fair to your children. One son is not willing to accept. So what you give, he will accept. And I told him, you'll also have to do that. And they had uh, universities, they have large properties. They were ultimately, a comfort level was reached where they were able to set up in a different institution for one brother. It would have gone on for a decade. It would not have been there. And I tell you, the satisfaction you get in resolving a dispute as a judge is, is, is much more than anything else. I remember a very old suit of 1975 during my time, which was, uh, I thought, why are the people fighting? I said, every party will remain present in my court and for two weeks you will be in India. They were all spread all over the uh, world. They came there, one of them was Mr. Chandiyok representing the party. 
and I sent them to mediation and sit back. And within that week or 10 days, the dispute was resolved. When it came for me to record the settlement, uh, one of them raised his hands. So the other said, you know, I said, no, let him talk. Uh, interestingly, this is one thing I've learned as a, from mediation as a judge. I used to be very strict not to let a party talk. But I slowly realized that uh, maybe the lawyer, what he's saying, is not able to get through. So there is no harm at any stage to hear for two minutes that party, not an indefinite this thing. For him to have the feeling that uh, he's being, his point of view has been understood. So I said, what do you want to say? He said, I just want to say thank you. We never got together together. It was not difficult. We were all in different parts of the world. And we were, uh, you know, litigating without having the time to get through. Honestly, that thank you, I carry still as more valuable than possibly a very complicated legal point I may have decided. That was my satisfaction that at least in this family, in this one unit, uh, and I just did the trigger, the rest the lawyers did, you can resolve a dispute. So your empowerment, your skills which you will get, choose it for the purposes of settling disputes. The world really needs resolution of dispute. The courts need resolution of dispute by alternative method. The US was able to tackle these problems and some of us have had opportunities to go there, including Vipin, myself. Where uh, in California area, 97 to 98 percent disputes are resolved through an alternative dispute resolution process. Two percent cases go to trial. We take 99.9 .9 percent cases into trial. And it doesn't make a difference. Some disputes will resolve, some will not resolve. At least you'll try. I'm sure if you try and we are able to take even that many cases out of the system, it'll be a great advantage for everybody. Uh, enjoy the training, have a good time with it. I have enjoyed the various training programs, uh, must have held, they say, at least 13, 14. Yes, I must have attended them, attended them from morning till the evening of the third session. Had a good time with my colleagues and lawyers, got an opportunity to play a role model as a lawyer rather than a judge. <laughs> and uh, all these, I think, uh, has given me both, I think, uh, not only joy, but also, I believe, equipped me in deciding cases as a judge. And that's why we are talking in terms of today, uh, training of uh, judges at every level, um, referral judges, other training, maybe training is different. But uh, I'm sure if nothing else, all of you will emerge as uh, a better human being able to tackle the society today than before after going through this training. Thank you very much for this opportunity. <laughs>